Hi, I'm Peter J. Ray. Welcome to Adventures in History. Today's topic is Ruth, John, Mark, Pamela, Patricia, and Peter Ray. Home movie, 1976. And now the movie, folks. Well, as you can see, this is out of focus, but it will get in focus soon. This is a trip to the Bahamas that we took from April 8th to the 27th of April, 1976. This is the, we're arriving on Cistern Key on a boat I guess we got from Norman's Key. And uh, the people who came, my parents, John Ray, Ruth Ray, uh, Patricia Ray, her friend Jinx Faulkner, and yours truly, Peter J. Ray. And we, were, we had our big project, which was uh, thatching the palm frond roof. Big job. We had, to, we had help from Mr. Ferguson, who was the... Uh, caretaker for the Grants on the other side of the island. And we're still working on the roof, also putting up the wooden support members. And then later, we spent a lot of time cutting palm fronds in the jungle and then thatching them to the roof. There we are. I think we're still putting on the lathing of the roof of that house, which was built on ruins from an English loyalist from the from the British North American colonies who fled to the, to the Bahamas during the American Revolution because he was loyal, you see. There we are. Mr. Ferguson's helping us. I think we're getting the lathing up with these thin... There were two-by-fours that were going up and then, um, and then the lathing, which we tied the palm fronds to. Okay, another trip to the Bahamas, 1976. We had a good time. And getting, getting some uh, warm temperature, sunshine, and the the ocean. I think that's uh, that's this Patricia and Jinx. We had, looks like we had some inflatable rafts. We go out and float in the ocean in the in the, in the ocean. This is actually the, the Atlantic Ocean, which is. Um, close to the Caribbean. I always think of it as Caribbean, it's the Caribbean Sea, but technically it's the Atlantic. Uh, this would be, uh, okay, looks like it's Easter egg hunt. Yeah, okay, there we are. Ruth organized. There's, I guess I was the youngest. There were no young children. Peter, Jinx, Patricia. Off we go. And, uh, oh, Steve Cox. Just the us four. <laughs> There we are, looking for our Easter eggs. So a small group searching. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Did a good job boiling the, the eggs and then dyeing them and hiding them. Patricia was graduating from high school in a couple months, senior year of high school. Oh, she found one. Nice, uh... Blue or green Easter egg. Oh, Steve Cox did very well. Patricia has got hers. And it's a bag. There's Jinx Faulkner, Patricia's friend, and yours truly, Peter J. Ray. <laughs> Ruth, she's missing how many? Missing four. Okay, now we're working on the roof. Boy, we worked hard. We were only down for three weeks. See, we were... We had to cut these palm fronds in the jungle, and then we actually got a lot from the other side of the island where there was a bigger ones, better ones. And we tied them on to make a roof. Didn't last that long. There's Patricia. Is that Patricia or Jinx? Because we actually ended up redoing it about, hi, Peter, about how many years later? This is 76, in, about six years later because they started deteriorating. There's Mr. Ferguson. Yeah. Couldn't have done it without him. He had carpentry skills and he taught us how to palm the, uh, weave these palm fronds, tie them on to the lathing. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Mom. Yeah, we were busy. And after a few years, it started, uh, they would deteriorate and it would start leaking. So that wasn't too much fun at night to be laying there 
getting dripped on <laughs> when it was raining. Mr. Ferguson. Hi, Mom. Okay, we're going to take a break. Go swimming. Peter, or Patricia Jinx and Peter. Hi, Mom. Oh, it looks like we're going snorkeling. Mom has her fins. Oh, we're all going snorkeling. Off we go. <laughs> oh, they were in Catalinas, so they were just this swimming entertainment for people in high school. I think we're going to have some underwater movies here out to the, uh, looks like we're headed to the Rummages Reef, the next beach over. And that's it. Dad, John S. Ray is filming, there's some brain coral. Yep. Some the colors. Don't see any fish here. Okay. Oh, there's a uh, oh, there's a turbot. Beautiful fish. There's some more fish. I had some. I always that was my favorite fish, the turbot. It was like a cartoon character. God's creation. There's some different coral in the reef. Mmm, that looks like cauliflower. Very nice. Looks like a sea fan. Alright. Good job, Dad. He's got to hold his breath. Unless this is low tide. Maybe it's low tide and he's able to creep along on the surface. Not scrape his chest on the coral, but breathe. Being able to breathe through the breathing tube and film underwater. Oh, sea fan, the fish making their way. Like National Geographic or Jacques Cousteau, the famous underwater uh, filmmaker of the time. Pompano, are those Pompano's? Not very good with fish. Schools of fish traveling together back and forth. Oh, what's that fish? That's an interesting one. Now here we go with the obligatory or traditional uh, individual um, going underwater. There's Ruth, Peter, uh, let's see, who is this? Oh, I think this is Patricia doing a... I think that's Jinx. She's been living in Portland, Oregon for many years with her family. Okay. It's like underwater plants. Okay, now what are we doing? Okay, enjoying the water. Patricia and Jinx. The Faulkners lived on Maplewood, over on the corner of uh, Maplewood and uh, Wager. And Jinx got, was married in the backyard there. Uh, 1983. We were all at the wedding. Paul Curler. I think it was the summer of 1983. Oh, Patricia has a starfish. Mm-hmm. On her foot. Mm-hmm. Beautiful creature. Mm-hmm. Okay, now they're... <laughs> Patricia and Jinx are doing some of their... Uh, must be uh, Catalinas. It's like swimming dancing <laughs> performance, which Patricia was very happy to be a part of at the Rocky River High School. <laughs> yep. Oh, we're making progress. Hi, Dad. John S. Ray. We're getting that roof done, getting it thatched. So we have shelter from the sun 
and the rain. Oh, there's up on the ridge. Nice view. A little bit too much sun. Overexposed. Okay, now we're working. There's Patricia. Yeah, oh, down, down by the beach with zoom lens. Yeah, that was, uh, we, we built our own house, so it's good to have a better, better than a tent, especially the sun during the day, you know, the, uh, it was bigger, getting out of the sun during the day. Oh, some cactus in the area. I what kind of cactus this is. It's quite a bit up there in that area. There are actually two old houses, and we restored the one. That's this is the other one that we never, never worked on. It was a short distance away. It seemed to have a lot of cactus around it. Yeah, I'm not sure what kind of a plant that is. It looks kind of like a pineapple, but I don't think it was. Century plant, is that right? Okay. Some jungle shots here. Oh, is that the well? I think it is. It's called, no. Oh, a lot of cactus, cacti. Now this is, um, I believe, the, yeah, the Ferguson's granddaughter, Thelma. In a rubber raft with Jinx and Patricia. Oh, here comes Peter. <laughs> he took out Thelma for a little ride in this rubber raft. Pulling the raft on the beach. Cute little girl. <laughs> That's a nice smile. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice hat, Thelma. Oh, that's your grandmother. That's Merthelda. Yeah, Steve's what? Uh, no, no, I'm sorry. That's uh, Miss, Mrs. Ferguson. There they are. They're go heading back to the, heading for home, the other side of the island. Caretaker's house near the Grant's house. Starting the uh, upboard motor. Motor. Bye. He was a very good man. Really helped us a lot. We couldn't have built that house without his help. The carpentry, cement, construction. Looks like a conch fishing boat anchored offshore. Yeah. Even though it's in the Exuma Land and Sea Park, but the conch fishermen, they, they've stopped now. They finally cracked down. They were coming to get fresh water. Cistern, a cistern, the island's name is Cistern Key. And a cistern is a natural well, so which we had on, which is on that property. So the Conk fishermen would stop to get fresh water. Hi, Patricia. What's she cooking here? Is that a pancake? Can't tell. No. <laughs> She's uh, cooking our food there. Okay, what are we doing now? Doing more work. Oh, yeah, we found this uh, sign on, uh, it was a, a street sign from Norman Ski Buccaneer Way, and it was just it had fallen down. It was just on the ground. We we picked it up and got it. So we called our. Oh, look at that! See all the work we did. Looks like we're done. There's the conch fishing boat. There's our new house. We have to get screens up. So mosquitoes are, can still come, and that was the next thing we would do. But at least we're out of the sun and rain. Yeah. 
Okay, now here's the, the at the end of the beach, there's this path to the, the cistern. I think that's what we're doing here, going over to uh, get some water, get some drinking water. There it is, there's the cistern. We would drop a bucket down there and fill our water jug. There's the bucket. <laughs> Uh-huh. Nice red tennis shoes, Peter. I think Dad's going to film us drinking out of this bucket. It was It's good water. Yeah. There's Jinx having her, having a drink. <laughs> Here's Patricia getting a drink, too. And I had filled up this bucket, so it's aside from the uh, water jug, and then I'm floating it over. And I, it was an attempt to we we had a we had an orange tree we we're trying to grow. There it is, and we I brought over this bucket that, and sort of let it let the water flow out slowly, in an attempt to provide water for the orange tree over time. Looks like we're headed for home, headed for uh, Norman's Key. Oh, there's the, there's the house. The, we finished the roof. We're headed for Norman's Key and the flight to um, Nassau and then back to the mainland and Cleveland. Now we're back in Cleveland. This is Lakewood Park Cemetery, in Rocky River, Ohio. That's uh, We had a dogwood, a pink dogwood tree planted there. That's where Pam, our sister Pamela is buried. Pamela Ruth Ray, and so we're coming over to pay our respects, bring some flowers, and tend that uh, tree, which unfortunately died. Pamela Ruth Ray, God bless her, our wonderful sister Pamela. We were over there the other day, the cemetery. There's now Pamela, Dad, John. There's hi Dad, hi Patricia. Now we have four people there who are buried there. Uh, Pam, Dad, Mom, and Mark, all in a row. Now let's see what this is. It's going to come into focus here in a little bit. <laughs> Can't tell you what it is. Okay, now this is uh, Mark's graduation from Oberlin College. He's going to get his diploma. I think this is in June. He's walking in up to get his diploma. He got an English degree, June 1976. Yep. Good job, Mark. Dad graduated in 40, 1946, Mark in 1976. Oh, now this is uh, the backyard of... Uh, oh, that was short. Helen Lacey's... Uh, I wonder what happened there. Oh, now this is back in Rocky River. The... Um, Flowers, roses in the yard, and this is some. Uh, apparently, Mark took. Um, cl these are clouds in New York. That Mark took some footage of. Yeah. You can see the cloud disappearing here. There's a story behind this. This filming, and I can't can't tell you the story. But we used to kind of joke about these. Uh, it is kind of interesting. You can see the uh, you know the clouds are always changing. And backing up that uh, we we had a little reception for Mark at Helen Lacey's backyard in Oberlin, and uh, seemed like it was cut short. Helen Lacey was the um, sister of our father's mo mother, Gertrude, and she lived in Oberlin for many years. Oberlin's not too far from Cleveland here, so I think Mark took these. Someone took these. Uh, took this. Filmed these clouds in New York. Now this is a. I did an instructional. This is Peter J. Ray. This is me. Uh, I did a video or a home movie for how to play ping pong. And I, and I think it was a um, Boy Scout...
project. Somehow we had to pr produce instructional material. There's the, the ping pong uh, thing you hit it with on the ball. Now I'm talking about forehand and backhand. The paddle. Okay, it's a paddle. <laughs> paddle and the ping pong ball. Now you can... I'm showing how you, when, when you do backhand, you move your fingers to the side so they don't hit the ball. With forehand, you can have them spread out because they're, they're not in the way. This is in the basement on Avalon Drive, playing with Dad. Dad was a very good ping pong player, and we would play often after dinner, play a couple games, two or three games in the basement. So I made this... Uh, we filmed this for, I think, a, a, a Boy Scout project. How to play ping pong, an instructional film. Now I'm, I'm back, uh, backhand serve, moving my fingers to the side. So now we're going to play Peter and John, Peter and Dad. Okay. Oh, look at that nice uh, uh, poster of Paris, France. Yeah, that we had a good time. Dad was a good player. We'd have some good games. Oh, we got a nice volley going. <laughs> okay. Well, that concludes today's presentation. Thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. God bless you. Take care, and I'll see you next time.